Inside Metreon, there's this place called Cafe X that serves coffee with a robot arm. There are typical options with your coffee. I went with the Cafe Latte, Oatly Milk, and I was happy to see I can control the amount of sugar I put in the drink. Having it at the typical 12 ounce, you'll have to add another dollar to this drink. Still, it came out to be $4.60, which is slightly under what you would get at a Starbucks. Interestingly, I could have gotten this drink for free if I just downloaded the app first. As you can see here, if the robot isn't making all that many drinks due to low volume, it starts goofing off. I don't know what to call this. It's like some sort of waving motion, I guess. I can only describe this as kancho. It's a type of prank that Japanese middle school boys do on each other. So what is it doing now? It's like pretending to work? I think I can relate to that. It's like pushing some cups down. Maybe it's adjusting it so that it comes out smoothly next time. Okay, so now that the machine behind it actually made the drink, it just moves the drink from the machine to the front. It's like, hooray. Okay, it does seem like that pushing cup thing does something. Maybe it allows it to only extract one cup. If it doesn't, then maybe it can't. So now it does a victory lap, I think. The deal with robots is that they have the capability to move a lot faster than human beings. So if they're able to do much faster motions, I think it'll be a lot more interesting. Francis? Yeah, that's okay. Right, Just double checking. My coffee is finished on the right over there. And now it picks it up slowly and brings it to this hole out of the three positions. And then it comes and lowers down, says hi to me, or waves. And then now I can pick up my coffee inside this claustrophobic hole. All right. And then I still have to put on this little sleeve myself and the lid. Not bad. Actually pretty good. Hmm. It's not like a barista where it's grinding coffee and kind of pouring milk foam into your drink. They do have those in other places. So what I see this as is kind of like, kind of like a for show type of thing. So people can see like, oh yeah, the robot arm is moving. But really what you can do instead is just order it from a vending machine. Now with all that said, I would say this coffee is still pretty darn good compared to all the other vending machine coffee I had. So coming in at $4 for a 12 ounce size. Now you can get away with $3 if you just want eight ounces. So it's pretty a cheap alternative to your regular Starbucks. 